But you can't have eternal life and you cannot be saved and be a rebel in God's eyes. If you've never come to that point of unconditional surrender, where you say, okay God, I give up fighting. I give up trying to develop a theology that dismisses your law. I give up, I yield myself to you, and I am willing to do what you tell me to do. I am willing to keep your commandments. You know, if you've never come to that, you're not a real Christian, and you're not really saved. You see, there is a false conversion out there, it really is. There's a false salvation out there. And that false salvation revolves around the unwillingness to do what God tells you to do. It's a bad attitude toward the law of God, that false salvation. Now listen, <clears throat> you've been lied to about the Bible. And I want to invite you to church. We meet every Saturday at 1.30. We're 12 miles north of Collinsville or 12 miles south of Rocky Mount. An area called Fort Mountain, you can't miss us. We're right there on the side of 220. I want to invite you to church. And you know, and you can, you can keep your cherished beliefs. You can believe that, okay, I don't have to do a thing. You know, I don't even have to obey God. I don't really care what kind of beliefs you have. I just understand this, that in order for you to be, that in order for you to grow spiritually, you have to be challenged. Your intellect has to be challenged. You can't go to church, you know, every Sunday and just sit there and say, yeah, that sure was a good sermon. I really did. And never be challenged about a single thing that you believe. I'm telling you, you've been lied to in church. I'm telling you, you've been lied about the covenants of God. Because many of you believe that the new covenant dismisses the law of God and that the law of God is not important. That's what many of you have been taught. You know, Jesus said, think not that I've come to destroy the law. And there are millions of you out there, millions of you who call yourself Christian, who think just that. You think the very thing that Jesus said, don't think it. You think, yeah, he came to destroy the law, to nail it to his cross, he did away with it, he abolished, he fulfilled it, and therefore, it's really not that important. It's time you get your act together. And it's time you get your theology right. If you don't get your theology right, the way you think about God, you're going to miss the boat. You're going, to miss, you're going to find out you had a false salvation. And you're not going to come up in that first resurrection. It's time to quit playing games. It's time to quit playing church. Time is short. You don't have time to play church. You don't have time to play church. And I'm inv inviting you to come to a church that actually believes and understands what the Bible actually says about the law of God and what He expects. You're not going to find that at any church, what God expects from you. What God wants you to do. That yes, God expects you to do what He says. You're not going to hear the law of God preached in all churches. Oh, they may skate around the edges, but they're not, they're not going to get close to it. They're not going to touch this stuff with a 10-foot pole. God gives His Spirit, Acts 5.32, to them that obey Him. Do you have the Holy Spirit of God? You know, if, if you answer that question, well, uh, uh, I hope so, I think so, maybe, I, I don't, you don't have it. Let me just inform you, you don't have it. God gives His Spirit to them that obey Him. It's time you learn the truth. So come to church. I'm David Freeman, and that's really in your Bible.